My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Marketer. Network Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about the difference between being authentic and vulnerable versus sharing too much information, right? Social media, dun dun dun. That's a dun 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 episode, TMI. I got in- inspired to do this topic from a post that Jasmine Star did, or, or a recent post from Jasmine Star on her Instagram. If you're not following her, I'll put her Instagram link uh, on the show notes of this episode. Um, she talked about being vulnerable and, and how in the past, you know, she was very kind of choosy about what she shared. Uh, and, and she shared a very personal and vulnerable story about her adoption process. I encourage you to, to go, go check it out. Um, and so, I, you know, I wanted to, to expand on this conversation and share my perspective on what I believe is the, the difference between the two. Obviously, I mean, that's very personal. And, and those, those kinds of details um, it are, I mean, it's up to you to, 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 to share, right? Like it's your decision, you know, the level of, of, um, of openness and frankness and, and peek into your own private life that you want to allow um, on your social feeds. Um, however, there's definitely, definitely a difference between TMI, in my opinion, and, and, uh, and, and vulnerability and authenticity. Um, TMI. So here's, here's kind of what I see. And, and this goes actually back to the conversation that we've had before um, between being a content consumer and a content creator. Uh, content consumers generally are just, yeah, just everyday people um, who use social media to share what they're doing and, and things that are going on in their lives. Um, Part of it is to you know stay in contact with friends. Uh, part of it has become a habit of just broadcasting um, about you. Uh, again, nothing wrong with that, no judgment. However, if you are using social media to build your business, you're going to want to separate yourself from that and use social media to... Um, um, more intentionally and more purposefully, right? Have an intention and purpose, and the main intention and purpose is to provide value so that your audience can grow and 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 uh, and get to know you, right? Um, so so there's definitely that distinction between the two, and and as you're posting these things and and trying to decide, okay, is this too much information and is too private, um, or is it something that could provide value? It's it's really that simple. So the examples of TMI for me historically I've seen, and I'm connected with a lot of people. Um, on online um, is uh, TMI okay so this is e- an easy one right the the TMI the the easy TMIs that uh, that you can c- already knock off the list is airing out your dirty laundry don't do it like if there's things that's going on in your life that 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 are especially that if it's between you and some other person don't air that out right don't air that out um and and then like as an extension of that it like waxing poetically and and emoting on on social media right like that that serves no purpose for your business if you're just sharing your thoughts and emotions that's fine that's great for your personal um personal social um but is it serving your audience Chances are probably not, um, and and so yeah, you, like again, you want to really start making this distinction because if you're building a business, you're focused on bu- building a business and providing value. Um, I, I think I think authenticity then it, and vulnerability isn't so much that that you're sharing too much information or sharing personal, very personal things, which it, you can if you want, but if if it's whether or not that story or the thing that you're about to share about yourself um, can actually serve a purpose and provide value for the individuals. And, 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 and here's, here's where, where the line is for me. It's, it's all about just being honest, right? I, you know, I'm a pretty private person, but I'm never going to be inauthentic. I'm never going to be um, disingenuous on social and pretend to be something that I'm not. Um, I'm also going to be willing to share the things that I think uh, that I've gone through that I think can help you. And again, it's not so much that I'm just airing out my laundry and 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 talking about my difficult life as a, as a way to signal sympathy, right? As a way to garner um, uh, garner sympathy from from people, right? Because that then that's not serving you; that's serving me, right? It's all about sharing the things that I that I'm okay to share with uh, on the social platforms and online, um, in in hopes that that my experience uh, can provide value and, and, and give perspective to other people. Because here's, here's the thing, when you're honest, where, when you're authentic and vulnerable, um, people will see the humanity in that. And they'll be, be able to more relate to you because in that humanity, they'll see a little bit of themselves. And if they're going through the same thing, they, they'll know, okay, well, 
you know, Jasmine went through that, then, then I know I can get through it as well. You know what I mean? Or Ronnie went through that, that difficulty in his life, then I, I know I can get through it. If he did it, I know, some, I, I know I'm not alone in this journey, um, and, and, you know, and, and that can help them, uh, help them through whatever it is that they go through. Again, it's, it's all about providing value. If the story or the, the thing that you're sharing, um, that personal detail that you're sharing can help people, um, then I think, I think, yeah, it's okay to share. Um, I, 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 the distinction, of course, then is, is this, but final line, final line. It's whether or not you're signaling, um, you know, for sympathy, uh, you know, of, of how you're feeling or what you're experiencing, or you're, you know, trying to get validation for your perspective or your opinion, all that is for you, right? All that is for self, as opposed to sharing a personal story and being vulnerable with that story in hopes that it could help somebody else. That's providing value for them, for your audience. So it's a you versus them, right? The purpose of, of, of your content. And again, if we're going to move from content consumer to content creator, we really have to draw the line and be mindful and intentional and purposeful with, with the details that we share. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it's important because, uh, yeah, we're not used to doing this stuff. I get it. I get it. We're not used to doing this stuff. Um, and, and so we have to we have to start practicing um, so that we we can make a make the smarter decisions <laughs> when it comes to what we share about ourselves online. So that's it for today. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you think. And, and if you haven't yet, come join us on our Facebook community. It's a, it's, you know, a place where we can have further discussions on the topics that we talk about here on the show. Um, it's facebook.com slash groups slash path of the network marketer. I go live there every, you know, a few times a week. Um, uh, so there's going to be more content there that's not necessarily available here on the podcast. Again, it's uh, path of the network no it's just, sorry i just had a complete brain fart it's facebook.com slash path slash groups slash path of the network marketer anyways i'll leave the link of the show notes i'll leave the link of the group in the show notes of this episode as well as the post to jasmine stars um well the link to the po- to jasmine star post that inspired this particular episode Whew, got through it anyways we'll catch you tomorrow with a fresh one until then be well be safe I'll see you in the next episode